Hello, I'm at British Crick, and yes, today is that review. That review, which I am going to review Chatterbox. A film which was so bad, it never got a DVD release. The last release was on video, and it's by the same guy who released stuff like Caligula, the stuff that mostly... That mostly the cinema snob talks about. So let's jump into this what the fuck of a film. Well, just like most films, it did begin off with a sex scene. Already I feel like I'm gonna be disappointed by this movie. Anyway. So after the sex scene, we meet them on the character Penny and her boyfriend Ted. Nick and you know, there's a weird voice. Sorry, give a straight face, guys. <laughs> so, well, while I try to give a straight face, she is pretty much giving. She's a. And okay, so yeah, she goes into the bathroom to wonder what it is, and she finds out it's her her vagina. Yeah, I I went out and said it. It's her vagina. I'm not joking. I'm gonna burn in hell for this. So anyway, the boyfriend Ted gets angry and he leaves and. Next day they break up. She tries finding out what to do about well this that, that well this is a problem. And anyway, so I so we she's just trying to get the idea what she got a job at the barbers and we oh sorry we got a few funny scenes for Alabama. There's one scene where we have to run the character where, to, where the general stop talking and actually says some accidental homosexual references in which a woman tries making out with our main character. Yes. Um, anyway, so she goes to a psychiatrist and this is probably one of the weirdest naked shots of the, of the entire film. So. I'm going to try and get through this film plot as fast as I can because I don't want to stay here. And so, anyway. We. We, uh. Get to the scene where. So, the psychiatrist, anyway. He seems to really like the idea of thinking it's a miracle of science and it's probably one of the biggest things ever found. So, yes, she starts, so, as the film goes by, she, she starts becoming famous, and we, this is pretty much most of the film, she just tries to become famous as well, trying to get back, Penny trying to get back with Ted, oh yeah, rename her for Janet, Virginia, no fucking joke, I did not change this, anyway, so, well, the film is made up. Well, it's made up of pretty much well, Virginia wanting to have sex and also become famous. While Penny doesn't really want this. I mean, even a mother is getting all this big sloppy stuff from it. She don't want to go through this stuff, and this is what the film is mostly just about. It, it, though it's a weird plot, it's meant to have a bit of comedy in that. It does come with a lesson. I'm not joking. I felt this film actually comes with a lesson. The lesson of the film is, well, it's, it's just, the story is just mostly about sexuality and pretty much exploitation. It also looks at fame and how, how some people don't want it, but it can happen. Anyway, so. So as the film goes by, she tries to get back with Ted. He ends up getting angry with her. Let's see what else happens. 
Well, she goes on to the near the end of the meeting game, which she. But they get someone, they have sex, and the next day he leaves her. She gets even more famous, even gets a. Him and Virginia even get a thing at Times Square. I'm not joking. You know the thing where all the people at the Hollywood sign stuff? Wow. <laughs> anyway, she's out. She's out filming the uh, first big feature length film. Halfway through though, Penny starts to feel depressed and so she moves out. She went to escape in a taxi, but Virginia's having a fight in the taxi, telling him, telling him to drive to stop, but Penny wants to start. They go up to a hill where she's about to jump, and pretty much, this thing you know, she can hear his noise of a voice, and it turns out to be her old boyfriend Ted, who I I guess this was an ST. I guess this talking thing was an STD, and so having sex with him, he now has a talking dick. I know, not good joke. That is the end of the film. No joke. That is the end of the film. So, what to say about this film? That was a weird film, probably. And there's a lot of reasons why this film was never... It's probably one of those films that are so bad, it's actually pretty good. Why? Because it's weird. It's a weird and... It's one of those weird things that would become very rare now. I call them Aussie archives, and most of the cinema snob looks and stuff like this. Um, yes, so... <clears throat> what is... So... My verdict on the film? Weird! Kind of funny though. They did have a few funny scenes. It looks like exploitation, fame, and, and sexuality. Altogether, not as bad as I thought it would be. I think I'd say it's one of the funniest films I've ever seen. No joke. The plot is weird as fuck, but should I care? Hey, I own this country, bitches. And you know it, a jelly baby. <laughs> okay, I'm just talking about it now. Anyway, all good film altogether. Not as bad as I thought it was, but that does not mean this film is not a bad film. This film still contains some pretty bad and as the most messed up plot of all time and never gets explained. And you've got to remember what the origins of this film was. Here's the origin of Chatterbox. It was based on a French porno, which for real reasons I'm all like a name of, which had a sequel. The, the French porno, these two French pornos turned out to be a turned out to be turned out to be a turned out to be a remake of a French of a, of an American porno. And trust me, the further you go back into the storyline of this, the weirder it gets. We're talking a weird decade. I mean, what? Okay, the seventies was a weird place, and I will look at more film, cheap films from the seventies. Um, I'm probably gonna look, I'm gonna look at a few from a cheap guy. He did only did one in the seventies, a film called Weasels Went My Flesh. I'm gonna look at hopefully this Halloween. Every Halloween, I'm gonna do one. Of, yeah, he did. He had. He did four movies. Three of these movies were released on DVD. The sec, the third one was not released because it was too, because it was too disturbing and contained too many violent scenes and contained too many realistic scenes and too disturbing scenes even for one of his movies. So yes, um, <clears throat> I will be looking at some cheap seventies movies in the future, like Criminally Insane, and the film that this guy did. There was three. The three films I'm going to look at of his are uh, Wheels with My Flesh, Ca Long Island Cannibal Massacre, and They Don't Cut the Grass Anymore. And if I can find a copy on the internet, Villa Your Eyes, which was the one that we never got released. So, final verdict. It's a what the fuck film, Chatterbox. Chatterbox is the ultimate of what the fuck films.
We're talking what the fuck. Boom. Dave, excuse me. Hey, I want to check the chat box. I'm just going to pretend I dreamed that. You ain't dreaming it, kid. Don't you know they don't know the production of what happens if you watch this, if you watch this film? You mean they really never released the film? Because, yep. I thought because the audience didn't get the film and it wasn't that big. Nope. It's wrong. I don't want to live anymore. What's the point of living anymore? Ah! What's the point of living anymore? Ah! 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 Is this a dream? Was this a dream, wasn't it? It never happened. Chatterbox isn't real. It was just a dream. Maybe the crowd didn't even exist. Ah, dude, that can't exist. Wait, what? You, you, you mean that, that this all happened? Yep. And that koala's gonna bring you back alive in two weeks' time. So you better go and do some training with King Kai because you're dead and now you're in heaven. Well, I'm in heaven. Because, well, I used to be a Christian. Really? Yep. That makes a lot more sense now. So, yeah. Me and I did a training with King Kai. Sure, why not? I need to defeat a koala anyway. So, what do I do until then? Well, I'm gonna do some training with King Kai. This is a message from it's from that British critic all the way from heaven. I'll be resurrected in two weeks' time. Until then, there will be no more reviews or anything filmed for next week. I'm gonna go on King Kai. End of story. Bye.